Example four, a parabolic microphone has a width of 50 centimeters and is 15, that should say centimeters deep. Determine the region that can be covered with this microphone. So over on the side here, we have a picture of what a parabolic microphone looks like. So you can kind of see that the outline of this is in the shape of a parabola. Now we're gonna draw ours on the coordinate plane so that instead of opening sideways, it opens up or down because we only know how to deal with parabolas that either open up or open down. So we're going to take our parabola and draw it looking something like that. We will assume that the vertex is at zero, zero. Now, what do we know? We know that the width is 50 centimeters. So that would mean that this distance here is 25, and this distance here would be 25. We know that the depth, which would basically be that distance, is 15. So what are they really asking us for? Well, the sound waves that come from this parabolic microphone, okay, it really extend outward and upward kind of forever. So this really goes up and up and up and up and up like that. And as long as I'm inside of here, as long as I'm inside there, um, that's the region that will be covered by the microphone. So what we want to do is come up with the equation for that blue parabola. And I can do that using the coordinates of the vertex, and I'm going to mark on the coordinates of this point here. I went over 25, up 15. So that's 25, comma, 15. Or similarly, I could have used the coordinates over here, negative 25 and 15. So now, because we know the coordinates of the vertex, I'm going to use vertex form, y equals a times x minus p all squared plus q. I know that p and q are the coordinates of my vertex. Because my vertex is at 0, 0, my p value is 0, and my q value is 0. So that would mean I have y equals a times x minus 0 all squared plus 0. Well, that simplifies to be y equals a times x minus 0 is just x being squared. Now I need to use the coordinates of another point on the graph to determine my a value the coordinates of another point on the graph to determine my a value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the point 25 and 15 to determine a. So that means I'm going to substitute 25 in for x, 15 in for y. So I would have 15 is equal Oh, sorry, that's not quite what I wanted. 15 goes in for y, a times in for x is 25 all squared. So this is going to give me 15 equaling 25 squared. If we go to our calculator, 25 squared gives us 625 times a. So solving for a a is going to be 15 divided by 625. That will reduce. Just checking this out here. I can divide certainly top and bottom by 5. 5 goes into 15 three times. And if I go 625 divided by 5, that comes out to be 125. So I can now take that a value of 3 over 125 and substitute it in there in place of A. So the equation 
is y equals 3 over 125x squared. However, because I've got a shaded region, because I have a shaded region, this is really going to be an inequality. It's going to be an inequality. And now, I think when I look at this, I really more suitably would have a broken line rather than a solid line. I've drawn the solid line because that is the exact shape of my microphone, but I don't really think the region includes the microphone itself. So I think we have to kind of assume, okay, we have to assume a broken line, which means we would have a greater than sign or a less than sign. So I'm going to go over here then, and I know that the equation is either going to be, in reality, and I'll write it over here, we will either have y is greater than, that's not what I wanted, we'll have y is greater than 3 over 125 x squared, or we may have y is less than. 3 over 125 x squared. How do we know which it would be? We choose a point that's in the shaded region. Choose a point inside the shaded region. So I might choose this point, let's say right here, that maybe has coordinates 0, 1. So I'm going to say over here, Okay, choose a point in the shaded region. So I'm going to choose the point 0, 1. I will substitute those coordinates into those inequalities and see which one is satisfied. Which one does it work for? So. If I take 0, 1 and put it into my first inequality, 1 goes in for y. That is supposed to be greater than 3 over 125 times 0 squared. That would mean 1 is greater than 0. How do I feel about that? That is true. So it means that here, this inequality is what I want. If I tried to use the other inequality. Putting 1 in for y, I would have 1 is less than 3 over 125 times 0 squared. That would mean 1 is less than 0. And I don't think that that's true. Okay, that is false. That is not true. Okay, that doesn't work. So this would not be the inequality that I would want. So, that concludes that question. We have graphed the region. We have given the inequality that represents it.